july twelfth st john gualbert abbot st john was born at florence toward the end of the tenth century the son of a nobleman hugh his elder and only brother was murdered by a man reputed to be his friend and john conceived it to be his duty to revenge his brother john was persuaded that his honor in the world required that he should not suffer so flagrant an outrage to pass unpunished one day he came upon the murderer in so a narrow passage that it was impossible for either to avoid the other john drew his sword and advanced upon the defenceless man who fell upon his knees his arms crossed on his breast the remembrance of christ who prayed for his murderers on the cross seized the heart of the young man he put up his sword embraced his enemy and they parted in peace a humbled and changed man he entered the church of st miniato which was near and whilst he was praying the figure of our crucified lord before which he was kneeling bowed his head to him as if to ratify his pardon then abandoning the world he gave himself up to prayer and penance in the benedictine order later he was led to found the congregation called Vallombrosa from the shady valley a few miles from florence where he established his first monastery once the enemies of the saint came to his convent of saint salvi plundered it and set it afire and having treated the monks with ignominy beat them and wounded them saint john rejoiced now he said you are true monks would that i myself had had the honor of being with you when the soldiers came that i might have had a share in the glory of your crowns he fought manfully against simony and in many ways promoted the interests of the faith in italy john died july twelfth in the year ten seventy three pope celestine the third enrolled him among the saints in the year eleven ninety three the heroic act which merited for st john gualbert his conversion was the forgiveness of his enemy let us imitate him in this virtue resolving never to revenge ourselves in deed in word or in thought